Right guys, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. So in this YouTube, we're gonna take Aoife through a leg day. So this is basically gonna be like a recorded personal training session. So we're gonna take Aoife through a leg day, break down all the machines, the mechanics, Aoife's body mechanics, how we're gonna set Aoife, Aoife up into the machines. Um, so sit back, relax and enjoy. We hope you take something out of this. Um, if you do like the video, make sure you hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment down below or anything you wanna see from us in the lab. Um, so sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So our first exercise we're gonna go through is hamstring curls. Um, so again, this is gonna primarily get the hamstring in a shortened position so if you're getting the lion or seated hamstring curl it's a small bit more mid to lengthen range so we're going to get the hamstrings as short as possible in this movement because Aoife is fresh so what we're doing now is Aoife is going to focus on when she gets to the top she's going to contract her hamstrings for two and she's going to really focus on eccentrically loading our hamstrings because we're stronger eccentrically so that's the lowering phase of the movement so Aoife is going to really control it here so we're just going to go two more reps now because these are just a feeder set good last one now Aoife big strong contraction at the top Good, relax. So for our first couple of sets, these are just gonna be feeder sets. So the best way to basically get warmed up for any workout, any movement, is actually just practicing the movement that you're doing. So you see a lot of people are constantly going around with bands, stretches, things like that. The best way to get your body ready for a session is performing the movement that you're doing at a lighter weight with the same accuracy as you would perform your top sets, just to make sure the muscle fibers are firing, your, your nervous system is getting ready for the set. So that is literally the best way you can warm up for a set. Brace nice and tight here, getting her lats in position. So the handles have a very, very important position in this because she's bracing her lats, it's gonna cause her to pull her hips into the machine more. It's gonna brace her, get her in tighter, the more stable she is, the more more force she can then produce in our hamstrings, which is gonna make this movement suited better to her. So again, we're curling the toes now up to the shins, hold for two, nice slow control right back down, good. So we're going four here now, good. Good, last two now. Excellent, last one, big strong contraction now at the top. Good, relax, Eve, good, good stuff. All right, we're going in for two top sets now in this, so we're gonna go for two top sets between eight and 12 reps. So we're gonna go 40 kilos for our first set, see how the body goes, how we get on with it, and we can just weight accordingly, depending on how this first set goes. Four, good, nice and control now, keep that control. Excellent. Five, good, come on, keep them going now, keep going. Up, six. Up, 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 one more now with me, let's go. We're gonna take one more now with me, let's go. Up, 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 up. Good, well done, control it down, and relax, good stuff. So you can see on that last rep there, as Aoife fails, I'm pushing her feet up, I'm not pulling the pad up. Because if I push the pad, I'm actually taking that tension away. Whereas when I push her feet, I'm pushing her more into the pad. So Aoife still has to do the work, I'm not just taking the pad away from her. And it's just a very, very gentle touch. When you're spotting someone, taking them to that point of failure, don't pull the weight. Just give them the bare little help that they need so they're still getting the benefit of that rep instead of taking that weight away and they're not getting any benefit from it. Okay, so next we're moving on to the hip extension. So now we're gonna focus on getting those glutes in that shortened position. And this is also gonna get the hamstrings in their lengthened range. So we focused on our hamstrings in the shortened position. Now we're gonna get lengthened and shortened position of the glutes. So set up of this is absolutely crucial so that we don't bias our lower back too much. So when we're going through this now, I'll break it down to you how Aoife could go up too high and bias her lower back too much, whereas we wanna focus on glutes. Uh, so Aoife's gonna grab the dumbbell. So what we're gonna go through is a rest pause set here. So she's gonna go 12, Rest 20 seconds, 10, rest 20 seconds, 8, 4. Good, keep that chin now tucked as much as we can. Excellent, Eva, big contraction again. Spend time in that bottom position and up. Good. Excellent, last four now. Good. Good, two more now. Big squeeze of the glutes now, big squeeze. And again, last one. Good, Eve, relax, 20 seconds rest, so. So you can see there, Eve has stopped at a certain position coming up every time because her glutes were in their fully shortened position. If she came up any higher, it would be her erectors doing the work then, which is not what we're trying to prioritize in this movement. We're focusing more on her hamstrings and her glutes. Six, good, last four, now come on, keep them going. Seven, excellent. Nine, last one, big squeeze now again, big squeeze. Good, 20 seconds again, so. Six, good, last two now. Up. And again, big squeeze now. Excellent, Eve, good, relax, good stuff, excellent. Good, so again, a rest pause set is an intensity technique. Um, so with this movement, it means we don't have to load it up as much. So Aoife doesn't have to focus on her grip of holding a heavier dumbbell. We can still drive intensity up with a lighter weight by just doing more reps, but adding a shorter rest period. So again, instead of just straight sets, this is gonna add in your rest pause, so it's just an intensity method. So we're gonna add in other intensity methods with other movements. This is just called a rest pause set. We're moving on to the glute drive machine next. 
So just from a stability standpoint over a barbell hip thrust, it's a lot easier to get into position, get in, get locked and stable. Because a barbell hip thrust, obviously you have to get that first rep off the floor, the bar can be uneven on your hips. So again, we're gonna pick this movement over the barbell hip thrust today, just from a stability standpoint, and because we have the machine available to us, we're gonna pick this over the barbell today. So, yeah, one rack there. Good. Two, I wanna spend two at the bottom now, so hold for two, and up, good. So two in each position now. Yeah, good. Four, good, two more. Last one, good, good stuff. Excellent. So when Aoife is setting up her foot position now, we're gonna go for just outside hip width stance. So the reason we go outside hip width is the glute fibers don't run in a straight line. The glute fibers actually run down on our own, so that's why we just go for the outside hip width. Again, we're looking for that vertical shin angle and um, when we're in that setup position. So when she locks out, we're getting, gonna get a 90 degree angle just to make sure her glutes are in the mechanically strongest position. But then this time we're focusing on getting the shin to fall back so we can get that glute in that lengthened position. We got it in its fully short position now, whereas now we're gonna get that full range challenge across the glutes. All right, we're gonna go for four, so this is just gonna be another feeder set, nice and control, two in each range, good. Two, good. Big squeeze now again at the top. Good, last one. Good, good stuff. Make sure this is all good, yeah, there we go. There we go. Good. Excellent, come on, big squeeze now, big squeeze. Good, three more, let's go. Big squeeze at the top, up, good, and again, come on. Good, keep them going, come on. Big lock out, big lock out, good, come on, and again. Up, one more now, one more, big squeeze at the top, big squeeze, let's go. Up, 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 good, well done, that's good stuff, excellent. Good, it's a good heavy set. It's 140 kilos, which is very, very impressive, very strong. So we're gonna do a back off set now, so your goal of your back off set is to drop the weight down, so you can go anywhere between 20 and 40% of the weight you've done, and it is always to just surpass the reps that you did on your top set. Um, so getting eight reps on our top side, our goal now is to surpass that, maintain an extremely good execution, really focusing on her contractions and making sure her range is on point. So that is the goal of this back offset now is just surpass those reps um, with extremely good execution. Good, keeping that chin tucked now, looking forward, good. Good, come on, two at the top now, hold. There you go. Excellent, come on, big strong contraction again. Up, good, come on. Good, up, good, come on, need four more now, last four, let's go, up, good, and again, hold for two at the top, no, hold for two, up, good, two more, come on, big squeeze, big squeeze, last one now, come on, big strong contraction, up, 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 good, well done, good, so we're moving on to hack squats next, we're going more of a quad focus with this, so we're going to get Aoife's foot placement slightly lower, just so she can get a bigger challenge through her knee joint. The more challenge that goes through her knee joint, the bigger the challenge is going to be to her quads. So we have absolutely gone through every range for her posterior focus of legs. So we've gone through hamstrings and shortened range, hamstrings and linton range. We've gone through glutes and linton and shortened range. So now we're going to move on to our quads. So we have reverse banded the hack squat as well, because Aoife now is very, very fatigued out of that bottom position from using so much glutes already. So this is gonna just suit her quads that bit more. To again to match the strength profile with the resistance profile and again to match fatigue management throughout the session so you have to know how fatigued you are going through your session and make sure your movements match that now okay so we're just going to go six here now keeping foot position nice and low good nice and slow now really control that way down good two three good slower now on the way down there you go four excellent last one Sometimes you just act when you're getting more fatigued in the session, it's very, very easy to want to speed up your reps. This is when your accuracy you're in, and your execution really comes into play. So you have to maintain that control. Even though you're fatigued, it's so, so important. Just be accurate with your movements. Your body will thank you for it. Small bit lower. Drive. There you go. Good. Just do one more. Up. Good. Relax. So. Big breath now. Brace hard now. Big breath. Big breath. Good. Up, 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 good, and again, come on, these are easy, we're still going, come on, nearly there. Control now, two, three, four, up, 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 one more, one more, come on. Good, it's good. Accuracy was maintained across the board, standardized our form, first rep should look like the last rep, progression is gonna be a lot easier to track in, and Aoife maintained that perfectly in that set, that was such a good set. So again, we're going for another back off set here now, 
going for that higher rep range. So it's absolutely crucial in your training to get strong across the board on all different rep ranges. So hypertrophy, which is the building of muscle, can occur from anything from six to 30 reps. So it is important that you do sets from anywhere in that rep range and get strong at all of them. And um, it's just gonna make it a lot more beneficial for your training and um, for building muscle. This is gonna be the set now, come on. Matching my count now. One, two, three, four. Oh, good, inch lower now, come on. One, two, three, four. Oh, good, strong, there we go. Match that every time now. One, two, three, four. Up, oh, good, very good, come on. Up. Oh. Good, he's good, come on, control. Everything is control. Up, good, come on. Up, good, excellent, excellent, come on. Keep that lower back driven into that pad now. Up, come on, come on, good, keep going. There's way more there, come on. Big breath now, come on, come on, come on. This is the one though, let's go. We're not stopping now. Up, 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 good, come on, there's three more, Aoife, let's go, come on. Up, good, come on, we're still going to keep going, come on, these are easy, come on. Big breath now, every time, big breath. Come on, you have it, you have it. Up, 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 good, come on, come on, come on. These are still easy, Aoife, come on, we're emptying the tank now, we're emptying the tank, you have to keep going, you have to keep going, come on. Up, 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 good. So we're finishing off now with a leg extension. So this is literally just to get every little last bit out of the quads. So we're gonna do what's called a muscle round on here. So it's a six by four. So if I lose six, she'll rest 10 seconds, go six, repeat that four times. So this is just gonna be one all out set, completely the failure um, and absolutely fry off the quads and that'll be the end of the session. So when you're looking through your setup of your leg extension, there's a few key points that you want to have. So this black thing here on the machine is your axis of rotation. Aoife's knee joint is her axis of rotation. So you want these as much in line as possible. Then when you're setting up your foot pad, I want this as high up as possible on Aoife's shin. So that's gonna take some of the forces away from her knee joint because this is called your point of application that is now closer to her joint. So that takes away some of the forces. She's also gonna curl her toes up, again, reducing that knee force. Um, and she's thinking now, when she locks herself in, pull herself into the seat as much as she can and think about pulling her knee back to her hip. Four, come on. Hold the top position, come on, you have it, five, and again. Up, oh, good, relax. Two more rounds, Eve. come on, we're nearly there. This is the last two sets, and then we're done. Everything we have now to these last two sets, as accurate as possible. Three, two, one, let's go, come on. Last two rounds, Eva. let's go, come on. Up, oh, good. Two, come on, nearly there, nearly there, let's go. Three, come on, last three, and you're resting again, come on. Up, oh, big squeeze, come on, come on. Let's go, come on, you have it, four, good. Come on, come on, let's go, two more, two more. Up, and again, last one, come on, last one, Eve. let's go. Up, good. In one more round, Eve, and that's it, in one more round. One, let's get them now, come on, let's go. Up, good, come on. Up, two, let's go, come on, come on. Up, come on, you're in there, three, last three, last three, come on, up. Hold, four, come on, come on, two more, Eva. let's go, last two today, come on. Up, good, and again, last one. Up, up, up. Good, good. It's good. That's us. That is the workout finished. I think Eva can say that was a great workout when she recovers from the floor. Um, but she did absolutely fantastically. She showed true accuracy, true execution, and driving that intensity up. So don't be afraid to push yourself. I think everyone can say they can push themselves that bit more. And sometimes it's nice to just have someone to push you along, break the machines, don't you? So make sure now, obviously, with gyms reopening June 7th. Um, if anyone's interested in personal training, give us a shout at the lab. If, the, if you want to see more videos like this, um, the kind of raw breaking down workouts, make sure you comment down below. And as always, subscribe to the channel. And as good old John Fitz would say, we'll check you in the next one.